Hey, Redeemer Grace Church family and friends, Pastor Josh here, and this is the weekly update for September 12th of 2022. We kicked off our fall schedule yesterday, and what a joy that was to uh, bring back the 915 growth classes, to move the service to 1030, and, uh, and then jump into this living faith study through the book of James. I was really grateful. It's a lot of work uh, to get uh, all of these things back up and running. And, um, and I'm grateful for all of you that helped make that happen. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the, those that served and led and taught. And uh, thank you to so many of you that came uh, to participate and, and be engaged in, uh, in the classes. Um, I made a concerted effort to try to personally invite everyone uh, that I could to come uh, to our classes. And uh, Nothing encourages me more than to send out an invite and then have that invite acknowledged to not be ghosted and then to have people actually go, yeah, I will make the time for that. I will choose that over being sitting on my couch or sleeping in or, or watching TV or whatever. Um, I will. I'll come and I will uh, participate and engage in teaching and serving and community and being equipped for ministry. Uh, that so encourages me and Nothing discourages me more than people just not taking up those opportunities and just simply choosing other things or just flat out ignoring an invite to come. And so thank you for coming, for those of you that that, uh, that showed up. And let's keep that going. Let's keep that momentum going. We had 10 come to our Discover RGC class. Uh, that is such an encouragement to me uh, that people would want to know more about what God has done for us in Christ through the gospel and then now how that how God intends to um, uh, grow us in the gospel together and then use us as a display of his glory. And uh, that's really the whole flow of God's plan. That's how the New Testament shows uh, uh, the, uh, the outworking of God's plan, the transformation of people, and how we together are a witness, ambassadors for Christ in this world. And the church is like an embassy representing another kingdom. And so to invite people into citizenship, into the kingdom, into ambassadorship, and, uh, and, and just to delight in that together, thank you for the 10 of you that came. What a joy it was to just celebrate the gospel with you um, in, in that time. And, uh, and for those of you that maybe didn't get a chance to come or you chose something else uh, yesterday, yesterday morning, hey, it's still open to you to come join. We can catch you up on the last week's session, and we would love to just delight in God's, um, God's plan for the church. God's, uh, what Christ has, has accomplished uh, to gather a people and to display his glory through them. And then I peeked in on the Christianity Explained class and was so encouraged by the number of people there and the level of engagement uh, that there were some there that I think are newer to our church and maybe newer to the gospel themselves and uh, that they would come and, and just want to learn and uh, get to know Jesus and the gospel better through this study, through the gospel of Mark. And then there are, were many in there that are mature believers that could probably pretty easily lead the class, but just have the kind of humility that they want to behold Jesus again. Uh, they want to be equipped again. They want to uh, come alongside some of those other maybe newer people in our church or newer believers in, in our congregation and just sit with them and behold Christ and, and help them navigate their Bibles. And, and um, just so encouraged by that. So thank you for making the time for that. That encourages me. I want to pastor a people who want to be pastored and show up. And, uh, and whenever I get discouraged, it's usually because um, people haven't shown up. And uh, there's sometimes a temptation in a pastor's heart to go, you know what, I'll go somewhere and pastor people who do want to show up. So your showing up encourages me, increases my level of, of, of desire to pastor and to serve you. And, uh, and thank you for being a part of that. It's not about me. But it is a way that we mutually encourage one another, and you encouraged me yesterday. Thank you for that. Um, this weekend is the women's retreat. Ladies, if you haven't had a chance to sign up or you still want to come, it's not too late. We could squeeze you in. We can make it work. Um, we, we do want as many of our ladies to be there as possible. If finances are a barrier, let us know. We'd rather have you. We don't care about the money. We just want as many of our women there to enjoy friendship and community and the word and prayer together. Um, and, uh, and so we invite you to come and be a part of that. Um, this weekend, I'm also going to be gone. That's not ideal <laughs> that I'm going to be gone the same weekend that the women's retreat is, but, uh, every year, not every year, every kid of mine, sometimes it feels like I have a kid a year, but 
uh, when my kids turn 12, I go on a special trip, kind of uniquely designed for them. And Eli and I have planned this trip a long time ago. So we're going to be gone over this weekend. And so pray for Bree as she handles four kids and then is doing so much on the women's retreat, doing so much on Sunday morning with kids ministry. So if you could just pray for her and if there's ways that you can kind of help her out and keep her encouraged over a pretty long weekend, I would appreciate that a lot. And then with me being on Sunday, Scott will preach. And uh, I would just like to ask all of the members that if you're able to show up and kind of help cover some of the things that I normally do on Sunday mornings, just to be an extra set of hands so that it isn't overly stressful on the, the handful of people that do come and put in the effort to get the service going, that would be really appreciated. I'm really confident it's going to be a great Sunday um, and that you'll enjoy jumping into uh, James 1, 2 through 4. Um, I think that'll be a great uh, great time together. So be praying about this week, the, win the women's retreat, uh, the trip that I'm taking with Eli, Sunday morning. Uh, make it a priority to be there on Sunday morning, uh, both at 9.15 and at 10.30. Um, and that is, uh, that, that's just a big part of who we're becoming as a church. Last thing, we have a men's retreat scheduled for October 14th and 15th. So men would love to have you sign up, uh, boys, uh, third grade and up can sign up as well. We'd love to have as many men as possible It'll be a senior Canyon Canyon camp, just like the women's retreat. And, uh, we'll have a wonderful time together. Please sign up by the end of this month, by September 30th. I need to get them some numbers for the sake of meals and, and lodging. Uh, so please sign up rgcrc.org and, uh, and, and. Uh, we'll start to get those numbers together and uh, really looking forward to that extended uh, reserve time for us as men to spend some time in the word and prayer. Uh, I love you. I hope you have a great week and I'll catch you next week. Bye.